The Adventures in Silverdale, the whole brood fantasy world setting for our online game of Dungeons and Dragons, now sponsored by Andrew Shirt. Is it backwards? Oh, it's not. Hell yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome into Campaign 4, Princesses of Power. Tonight's episode, episode 24. Um, how's everyone feeling tonight? Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh yeah, these are my friends. I'm going to play D&D with uh, Andrew Krug. Hey. Tanner Messer. Erica Webb. Hi. Michael Jackson. Well, hello there. And I'm Game Master Scott Nicholson. Perfect. Out of the way, now we can also let you know that Tuesdays we have Campaign 3, so I guess it's before this, it's appropriate, it's on Tuesday, because we're on Tuesday. Into the Expanse, it is awesome. Game Master Michael Williams is killing it, carving out the entirety of Lemuria, a sliver on the side of the world, so check that out. It's really fun. Um, also tonight, Margaret Alice is not with us. She's going to... She's going to dance. She's going to dance. That's what her heart wants. Yeah. Yes. Let the woman what dance. Say like that. I was like, hey. yeah. I was like, she probably doesn't a want nude... to be revealing what she's doing on streams. So. <laughs> a nude bard college I read in the new playtest <laughs> for D and D coming out. So boom, the College of Dance. That'll be a new fun one. Um, yeah. You can visit us on social media. We're on Patreon, The Adventures in Silver Nell. We, every month, give away artwork and stuff. Um, it's super great. Check us out on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, whatever else. We're probably there. All right. That's over. Let's get to the nitty-gritty last time on episode 23 of Princesses of Power. The princesses are Rista, Mizu, Celia, and Seer. Take off after a successful fight against the Lithia's merfolk goons into the secret siren's cave to catch Valithia and rescue their sister, Princess Venfira. Within a small room, they find food folk corpses that presumably are used in some sort of dark body market. But more interestingly, they find a merfolk in a cage, Mira Rage, a merfolk leader for the Council of Merits within Eudothia that had been captured by Valithia. Mira Rage tags along with the princesses, and they all enter a dead end where they are confronted by more of Valithia's goons, including a giant mesosaur. But after some quick thinking and snappy fighting, Princess Arista releases a massive door that comes down and beheads the mesosaur, ending the battle. After some time, they find Valithia must have escaped through a magical illusion of a wall. They have now crossed the barrier of that illusion. You guys immediately walk out. And I will say, your water elemental did die, so that needs to get out of there. Boom. Um, um, you immediately are confronted by the back of a wall. You can hear music and stuff going on, so you are presuming this is some sort of tavern or place where it's communal meetings. Um, to your left is immediately blocked by those seaweeds that damaged you before and rock formations that kind of move over from this mountainous part. To the right it leads into just like this um, kind of not taking care of garden. Maybe you see one live flower left, but everything's just kind of dead and wilting and uh, spinning in the water. And you can see around the corner, looks like this building, there's a, an alleyway that you can leave off, goes off to a road that seems busy. But all you can make out of that corner is a white outline of a merfolk on the ground. And it looks to be some big armored up mer ladies that are talking about this. Um, 
Everybody roll me an insight check. Inside checks are more than good. Oh, yeah. Twelve. Yeah. Oh my god, what'd you roll? Like a two? <laughs> a four. <laughs> I got a twenty-nine. I got a fifteen. Okay, as you guys are looking, you're hearing voices, you're all kind of gathering that there's probably more of these suited up merfolk over there but seer has immediately pieced together that whoever came out of this wall presumably valithian goons someone must have got murdered because this looks brand new and this looks like some questioning about there and you are pretty sure there's more people around that corner um i'm pretty sure our friend like m- made that mess over there and so um valentia if we're not so we're all clear of which friend I'm talking about. Um, it, are, do you, are those like your? Do you have police here? Is that is that are those? Oh, are you talking to them? They're six. No, no, I'm talk, talking to oh. to these. To me, I'm these assuming. Girls. And then I then I start talking to to uh, Mira about. Are those your like police people? Like are? Yeah, what I guard? recognize or have some form of a familiarity. Yes, with they are two? the um, guards and soldiers of Eudothia of the Council of Merits. You and like I'm assuming me. I have to... Yeah, that's the question, like, because I feel like if they're helping Valithia out, definitely can't trust those motherfuckers. Well, I think um, they're investigating, like, a thing that happened, so that could be super neutral. But, like, do you trust the, the cops in general here, I suppose? Like, I guess they... See, that's the thing. I kind of have a code where it's just, like, trust no one. And you don't, mm. yeah. Perfect. At this so we'll, point. we'll let you we'll um, let you lead, and then like that works. We'll, we'll follow that vibe. So we'll just stay real quiet over here. Looks at the sisters. Yeah. Uh, so they're through this doorway, is what you said, and then just so around the, the corner of this building, up or through the alleyway. Yeah, this way. And then right before you were to get to them, you see an open door where you see light coming out and hear music. It's like right where they are. Yeah, uh, so I guess I'll, I'm gonna come out and huffy puffy, kind of huffy puffy, and just be like, "What are y'all searching for around here? I think I could end up using your help if you're not that busy." I cast guidance on her. Okay, as you go around the corner, you're going to see that there's. Quite a few merfolk here. Fuck of Glad you're staying there. Uh, there yeah, seems there to be um, quite a few. A head guard. And there's uh, some second in commands, and then there's a bunch of you know what you would just call a grunt. Probably be a little offensive to them, <laughs> but um, they are questioning. Uh, a merfolk that is not armored, that does not look like they belong part of this, that they are swimming, you know, and, like, stumbling through the water, um, very oh, obviously drunk. Oh, that bitch drunk. who just fucked up? Oh. And they're questioning her, and as soon as you come up, you hear her saying, I told you! He went outside, and then he came back inside. I, I went with him outside, and then he came inside, and he was dead. He was dead, and he kept going on about... And they cut her off. Who's dead? I want to know who's dead. (laughs) Fuck me for being nosy. (laughs) Do any of these merfolk look like those ones that we were fighting that Valithia had sent? Okay. So that makes me slightly more trustworthy. But yeah, I'll just reiterate myself. What's going on here? Like, I'm assuming they know who I am, being one of the council members. They would know of you, but they're so used to working under somebody else that you're kind Mm -hmm. of like the head of the Senate trying to tell the head of the military soldiers what to do. So they're... I'm just asking what they're doing. I'm not telling them what Uh, to do. I would say they don't recognize you kind of at first. Um, And the general is going to tell you to please halt and swim over. Um... Where did you come from? You came from back here? Supposedly, I'm swimming from that direction. Did you come from the wall? What wall? 
How did you get behind this tavern? Well, clearly I went around a wall since we're surrounded by them right now. So we're on the right track. Um, better question, why are you interrogating me in this instance? Roll a persuasion check, which really for me is a distraction check. Persuasion. Not my strong suit. Ooh! 19, though. If you don't mind, would you please go sit inside and we will get to you immediately? Well, immediately is now, so why would I go inside? She's going to turn and call over three of the grunts that's going to come behind her. And she's going to say, there has been a murder tonight. Someone who was partying out with their girlfriend. Did you come through that wall or not? How many times are we going to have to visit this? I thought we were past it. She turns and swims away and says, restrain her. Uh, roll oh, initiative? No. Unless you <laughs> want to just be a restraint. I'll give you the option. No, I'm not being restrained. That's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> roll initiative. Can you put yourself on the map accurately so we can know where this altercation is happening? <laughs> it's got to be, like, right... I guess I'm around the, in that area. Yeah, and then I'll bring the three grunts over. Okay. Let me move my sis. I was like, I don't know where that area is. Oh, so we're not all rolling? Only a mirror? They Maybe. don't see you right now. Oh, okay. I'm sure we'll soon have to get involved if... <laughs> if it does not go the way we plan. They're like, oh, this will not be a fight. Mm -hmm. Turns into a fight. Well, so I'm not trying to do fight. all of, like, fight. <laughs> it was there. They didn't know it'd be a fight, but... <laughs> <laughs> He's so aggressive. <laughs> I got a 17 for my initiative. Hey! All right. Get this out. There's a hair. Oh, I got it. Okay, you got a 17. Let me roll for them really fast. Why does everyone be in a butthole? I just want information. <laughs> Everyone's really on guard here. It's weird. It's like we're in a stressful situation. Okay, uh, the main guard is swimming away. It is your turn. One of them has come up to restrain you. And this is when you're swiping back, so your turn. Oh my god. So they're attempting. I'm gonna restrain them instead. Actually, I'm gonna bonus action rage and then restrain them. Okay. So I have advantage on strength checks at least. Just also to be very clear, Mira, there are all of those guards there. Okay, so maybe I won't rage and just restrain <laughs> her instead. Be like, we can't flip the script now! <laughs> Alright, um, is this a unique one or is this just contested athletic? Uh, I guess this would just be contested athletic. Alright, Mira, try to restrain against the 18 oh. restrain coming at you. 18 plus 8. As, they, as she swims up to grab you, you I kind of draw. just flip them around and grab them. Hold out where their arms are stuck. They are trying to wiggle out, but you're just kind and of I holding I just reiterate, still. I'm not trying to fight right now. There's some shadow siren shit afoot. We need to be working together. Roll an intimidation check. Do you have good that? See her moves up a little bit. Five, Hearing the commotion. Yeah, Mizu's also walk or swimming into the commotion as well. Yeah, so like night team intimidation. All right, roll it with advantage as they're swimming up. Oh, okay. Better, better. The numbers oh, are was, evening out. <laughs> so that I'm gonna stick with that nineteen. <laughs> Very well. We agree. We think something shady is going on at that wall. Working together would be advantageous for both of us. Perhaps we could go inside and have a drink. 
we could discuss more details. Well, you see, we don't really have time for a drink. <laughs> I mean, I d could definitely use one, but we're trying to prevent a murder from about that's about to happen. S you know, send Eudothia into complete fucking chaos, the thing I don't want to happen. Right. Yeah, right. Well, then, you'll have to stay there until we've cleared out this scene. And then you can go right past. Can't we just go past now? Well, let me ask you. Will you ever tell of that wall again? And her eyes kind of glow as you hear a siren song coming towards you. I'm going to punch her in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. We're keeping the same initiative! <laughs> Wait, so... I'm not the smartest. All right. Like, I know there's some shadow also, the, shit. Yeah, I, thought, I was like, that was suspicious. <laughs> okay. I was like, it was going well until that moment. <laughs> a restraint and a punch. All right, the the one is going to try to break out of your restraint. Um, they're, strike a hoe. they're still restrained. All right, this other grunt here. I got to bust out the stats. I was not planning for this. That was 26 <laughs> for my punch. <laughs> That was your what? A 26 to punt. Oh, yeah, you hit her. I do five bludgeoning damage. Ow! I'm like, what was that shit? Why did you just siren song me? Yeah, she just kind of takes the punch as, like, bl uh, green blood kind of, like, swirls in the water. And she just mm. looks at you and creepily smiles. All right, this grunt in the back is going to take their trident that they're holding and try to throw it through the um, the hair of the other merfolk grunt into your face. Hit her head. That's so dramatic. Um, <laughs> crit fail. Uh, that's a 23 and that's going to be 12 piercing damage plus 5 acid damage. And then they're going to run up And pull the trident from where it stuck in you and swing it around and try to go for your stomach. You need to calm I down. Like, I would like to roll initiative. Yeah, I'd like to join the initiative. Yeah, after, after Mira's been hurt, I'll let you roll initiative. Uh, but that was a 12. To hit? Yeah. No. All right, that one misses. Um, you Thank guys God. did swim up, so go ahead and move your tokens up. Try not to go above, like, here, though. Oh yeah, no, I'm in. I'm in place that I want to be. I also moved a wrist because I feel like I had. I was like, she's a sneaky bitch. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. In the woods over here, <laughs> we're going to say Arista in this moment is already darted out like she usually does to look for something to do with this building. She's invisible somewhere. We're like, so Arista <laughs> is in the building with a successful stealth. Sounds appropriate. All right, um, Mizu, what is your initiative? Uh, 20. Oh, I should roll. Seer? That is going to be a 18. That was cute. I Big that. numbers. <laughs> you expected a 3. Celia? Uh, 12. Perfect. Descending. Boom. Where were we? Grunt. Okay. It is now, um... This one's turn. This one's going to... I also don't know what happened. We just know that <laughs> Mira attacked them, then calmed down, yep. then attacked them again. <laughs> uh, this one's going to do the same thing from where they are, throw their trident uh, to 24, and then run over to you and do the same thing, pull it out and try to hit you, and that is a 14. No. All right, so that is... Um, no. 12 piercing, 5 acid. I didn't think it hit. The f first one did. The second one. Oh, the first one was okay, like 24. Sorry. Yeah, they have a multi-attack. So. Oh, I've noticed. He, <laughs> Mizu. Um, Mizu is going to swim over to get closer. And... Uh, get to right here and I'm not gonna 
do anything yet. I'm just gonna stay there for, for right now and watch for a second. She's so seen. Okay, um, this one right here, she's gonna pop the... She said, what's the spitch made of? She's gonna pop off, y'all. Uh, she's gonna cast lightning bolt. Why not? Damn. Not through this water. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm thinking about that a lot. Okay, so that's gonna be... <laughs> do... Everything. Oh, that might not be too bad. Actually, I might not hit. Plus... It's a long one. Uh, 16? Uh, no, okay. It misses. Oh, dope. Thank God. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'll still let it go through, but Lightning Bolt's totally deck saving through. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Okay, but it misses you. Perfect. She can... Okay. Yep, she's done. Did not succeed. See her. Uh, the ear is really thinking about her... Uh, her sister Vinny, and she's like, kind of like concentrated on that. Um, and then she gets really mad and uh, kind of like has this weird conflated feeling because, like, she's like, Does Mira need help? Do I care that Mira needs help? But she's in this adrenaline is flying. Um, so Moonbeam that's gonna go oh. right here. Boop. And so they get both right, okay. right here. So they get both this girl, the caster, oh my god, and this person. And they both need to make me uh, constitution saving throws as a uh, beam of light just vroom, hits that spot. Whew. Uh, con saving throws. That one and that one. That's not good. Uh, counter spell. Rude. Right. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Ah! She was in range to counter spell me, Scott. I'm 70 feet away. Oh, how, sorry. How far is counter spell? I think it's 60. I don't have counterspell, but I think, I think it's 60. <laughs> you might be right here. Only oh, because my spell's 120, so I was like, ah, I don't have to move. It's my 60 feet. Clenched. It's 60 feet. <laughs> okay, uh, and she failed it. And uh, the grunt saved. Perfect. Uh, they're going to take... 2d10 of damage. Oof. Uh, the one that saved will take half, obviously. Alright. Um, it's gonna be 17. Ooh, that's good. 17 points of radiant damage. And that spotlight stays there. And it emanates there until I lose concentration. Gotcha. Can you move it? I can, as a bonus action. Dope. Dope. <laughs> Don't forget to roll saving throws for any fish swimming 40 feet above. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fish just start falling from the sky. <laughs> Floating down. Mirage. Or would they float up then? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're right. So, uh, what I'm going to do is disengage. Okay, smart. Yeah, because I can't keep taking these hits. At least all of them, you know? And I feel like these ladies need to know what's going on behind me. So I'm going to dip back here. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 55 back there. And then bonus action, I am going to wild shape into my starry form of the chalice. Ooh. So with that wild shape, essentially, I get to, like, whenever I cast a spell that restores hit points um, to me or a creature within 30 feet, I also regain an additional 1d8 plus 4 hit points on top of it. Awesome. Very cool. Um... So, I'm going to do that wild shape as my bonus action, and then I'm just going to yell around me and be like, that bitch is with the shadow sirens. I punched her in the face. If you want your sister, I suggest we got to get through this. 
Well, I'm sorry hitting people, so I agree with you, obviously. Mm hmm, I get that, <laughs> but I'm just yelling it for the others to know. Perfect. Alright. Um, this soldier is going to walk here and throw that trident at you. I didn't answer this. Uh, 18? Yeah, that does hit. That is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. <sighs> What's the range? Uno momento. Yeah, what's the range? <laughs> she got range? No. Okay, so she's she's got to walk over here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Actually, she's got to go there. Um, and then... Yeah. That's it. At the end of her turn... Um, no, never mind. It's Celia's turn. I was going to be cheeky, and I was like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Don't instigate me. You know I'm easily susceptible. <laughs> um, I'm going to use my, uh... Oh, sorry, Tanner, my... you took, um, 12 points of piercing, 5 points of acid, by the way. I did. That's his tradition. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna uh, use my movement to go uh, 30 feet here. I think that was correct. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I guess uh, can I do a bonus action hit? Can I hit, like, is that a thing that you do? You just take less? Uh-uh. You don't? <laughs> okay. Uh-uh. Um, can you use That's an use action, my, my friend. Gotcha. I'm going to use my uh, bonus. I'm going to use a bonus action to dash using a moxie point. Okay. I'm going to walk up to this guy here. Um, I'm going to hit with my fist. That is an 18 oh, plus yeah. 9. Um, so 27 to hit. Yeah. Okay, very cool, very cool. I'll give you um, a hint, their AC is not above 20. Oh, <laughs> awesome, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you and don't. that is going to be uh, 11 bludgeoning magic damage, and then I'm going to use my extra attack to hit again, and that is a 19 to hit. Mm -hmm, that hits. It's not above uh, 19, guys. Um, and that is going to be a 10 magical bludgeoning damage. Oof. Okay. Uh, and that is my turn. Thank you. Far out. Uh, uh, yeah. Next. Oh, Grunts. My favorite. Um, we're almost at the beginning of the turn order. That's going to be fun. Alright, so this one's going to step forward and throw the trident at Mizu. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Swims 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Swims up the rest of the way, grabs it for another attack. Uh, oh, that is a 19. That is in total. Attacking <laughs> like, your princess. 24 piercing and 10 acid. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, this other one's going to come this way. He's going to make a con save. He's in that oh, light. You son of a biscuit. I'm sorry. 14. Oh, a what? 14. That's a fail. Ooh. It's going to take uh, nine points of radiant damage. Ooh, that's a good amount. That searing spotlight. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it burns, it but they've got a fucking mission. I'm um, going to swim this way and throw a trident at Celia. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, wrong that's one. That's a miss. I know that's a miss. Um, and then that is going to... Five, ten, five, ten, five, ten. Throw back at you. She's just going to continue... Um, right here. And that's the beginning of the turn order, and now this that's one that. protecting the drunk merfolk over here, this one right here, um, they are going to swim away, as so will, like, a grunt. 
and one of the uh, secondary commands, but then this these other ones are going to join the fight. So I had that sense. Yeah, you know, not her. Okay, so oh, I guess I can't. Mizu, is it my turn now? Or yeah, uh, I think so. Mizu attracts the scene. Just kidding. This is just. <laughs> <what's happening. laughs> this is it. Oh, not, not literally. This is the scene. <laughs> um, yes, it's your it's your turn, Rekka. Okay, uh, so Mizu is going to call out to uh, all of the merfolk that are in the fight right now as she casts uh, mass suggestion. And she is going to say, stop this fighting at once. We want to help you guys, but we need to speak with you first. So all of them need to make wisdom saving throws. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone, well, okay. not the uh. four that are at the top uh, leaving, but everybody else does. Okay. Um, Get up with your yeah. mind. That's Get one, two, three, four, five, six, I mean, this is a last seven. ditch effort for me because I'm dead if this don't work. <laughs> You don't have to like eat them or run. That's what probably um, came this way. It's like oh. I got a thirteen, a nine, a three, a sixteen, a thirteen, a five, and the last one for the main lady is a sixteen. Uh, only the sixteens pass. Everybody else fails. Huh? Can't hear you. Where? Only the 16s pass. Everybody else fails. Oh, that's only that's two of them good. pass. Okay, that's that good. is this. It is the main chick here, and a grunt. So every it would be her. You you suggested everyone to stop fighting and speak with us at once, and that we need we want to help them, but we need their information. Is what she said. Um. So they all kind of freeze and kind of lower down their weapons. And you see them turn and look back at their general, so to speak. And she is, like, still panting with a little bit of blood coming out of her nose, like floating in the water. Um, and that grunt that it didn't work on behind her is going to swim past her. And she's just going to hold on and pull him to stop running and then shove past her and swim up to you guys and tell you like look around and see their army fine but we must stay here for a drink I will not let you go just yet I mean shit I guess after that I could use a drink or two I know at least one of my sisters could what about you guys I'm, I'm down for a drink and she's like Mizu's like Looking at them, her eyes are like super bulged as she turns away to look at them where she can't see, being like, please, come on, or I'm gonna fucking die if you guys don't come and get a drink. You had me a drink. Beer clasps her hand and her moonlight drink. drops. Um, I'm angry, but we'll drink. She's going to nod and she's going to look around at her allies and look at you and say, well, they've done the suggestion. Can you release them? Um, like, no, you haven't given us the information first. I was part of it, and apparently now you owe me a drink, too, on top of that. So, thank, thank you for the you. treat. Hey. Okay, she's going to say very well and swim towards the door and go into that open door as the other soldiers are just standing there. Just, and they can still move their bodies, just watching you, waiting until it has been discussed. Seer passes Mira and Celia on the way into the bar, and she's like, uh, keep your eyes out. This suspicious. Yeah, also, like, I'm going to aura of vitality at this point, while I still have my fucking wild tape going, and benefit from healing us. <laughs> yeah, I'll take what you can give, Gary. Um, How long does it take to I cast? Do, I do head into the bar. Huh? An action? Yeah, it's just an action. And then it lasts for, I believe, a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. So ten rounds. That'd be ten bonus actions. And I heal two d6 per bonus action. So. Three, four, 
three times two. So do 66 for yourself, Mizu. Dang! That's three. Uh. Hey, yeah, you. Everyone do 66. Because that'll end up being nine. I'll have one left over for myself, and I'm also healing each time I heal y'all. So cool. between the ten, I have 10 D8 to roll for heals. <laughs> That was so clutch, thank you. I was about to Beautiful. bleed out in this tavern. Of course. <laughs> oh yeah, because I'm like, okay, dope. Clutch suggestion. Uh, I wasn't gonna bleed out, but I I'll take some healing, thank you. <laughs> um, did uh, Arista come in with us, or is she still out? You hiding? don't see her when you walk in. Okay, I can still help out with Carrie. Well. You... <laughs> Last you saw Arista, she was crawling up the wall of this tavern. Cool. Trust. <laughs> Should be alright. Uh, okay, so we're here to gather information. So, all right, you get into the tavern. Uh, what you see in front of you is um, kind of goes a little way. You can see the distance on this map. Um, there is a old, old, um, poofy haired with stuff in it. Uh, old tavern merman just swimming around, who looks like he's cleaning something and eyeing some of these. You know, this soldier just came in. Presumably she was in earlier questioning. Uh, there is a man with a long uh, red kind of goatee kind of coming out of his chin. And he's playing the harp. And he looks like he's just listening to everything everyone's saying. Almost like he can do this without thinking. And in the far back corner, under where there's kind of not a lot of lights, is just kind of rough with a broken jaw, dark blue uh, merfolk with just like craggly crustacean-y hair. Um, she sits and says, um, around, and he goes, for who? And she goes, for me and my friends. And she will gesture to them. Yeah, I've never seen their kind before here. Who are they? Oh, you know Mizu immediately jumps on it. Princess Mizumino of the Zirian Kingdom, nice to meet you. He smacks your hand away. Get that Filthy paw out of my face, you ocean scum! Oh, uh, oh nice. quit the banter. She doesn't realize that she's not fitting in with everyone. <laughs> um, Celia is gonna walk up to the bar. I'm a, a customer. Uh, give me the strongest you've got. Filthy Triton. Okay. He's going to turn and make a drink and put it on the table with his whole, like, hand that's bigger than the glass around it. Sixty shells. Oh, it's on her tab. At the... She's just going <laughs> <Yeah>. to... <laughs> she yeah, just nods to him. He puts the drink out. And he says, Great. Would you like to get drinks for anybody else? And she says, yes, I'll take one for all of them. Does everyone drink? Yeah. Absolutely. Is that one more including this one or excluding this one that I have? He's going to hand out a drink to everyone and a second one to Celia. And then he's just going to go away and just listen from far away. And she's going to chug her old drink and just let the mug kind of float back to the bar. And she's going to say, so... What were you doing in the secret siren's cave? We're here to kill the... What's her name? She talks so much. Valithia. Um, Valithia. Valithia. Mm-hmm. Doesn't ring you know? a bell. Oh. You'll know when you see her. She's big, loud, scary, and ugly. Mm. I was hoping you'd seen her, actually. Yeah. Sounds like not. Hearing a screaming girl? That's Looks cool, though. Like, like it, us. Won't, it won't mean anything to the police after she's dead, so... Did you say she came out of that wall? Mm hmm We believe so. Not... Nah. Didn't what see with she, our own eyes. Were you in pursuit of her? I mean, yeah. You heard my sister. We, we don't like her. She's fat. She's ugly. She's not cool. Like, we wanted to kill her. So we were chasing her, and, I mean... 
I didn't know that there was like a wall there. I'm sorry if we kind of like violated something or like made you feel uncomfortable. That's like totally our bad. This is our first time here. We don't really know the rules. We're like, the well, we're not ghosts. Yet. If that's something that yes, you're worried yes. about. Yes, yes. Very well. Why were you chasing her? He because picked something very car. important to us. What? You're asking a lot of questions. That's she has job. something we want, and we want to get her back. Are you helping her, or are you helping us? Well, if I were to find her, how would I know she is holding the thing you are looking for if I have no information? I'm asking merely so that when we are search for her, we know what to look for. It'd be hard to miss. She has our sister. And who is your sister? Yeah, you're really bad at your job. Uh, you may know her as a Princess Venthyr of the Azerian Kingdom, diplomat to Yodothia. But just a little name she goes by here and there. She's gonna. What's everyone? Who's got the highest passive perception? Actually, just tell me, me your passive perceptions, because I know it's. I have eighteen. I know it's, I have 18, and I'm looking Ooh. around because I know I'm being watched. I mean, I know I'm being listened to, but 18 as well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love telling you 8 every time. I love it. <laughs> Mine's a 12. Okay, I'm not even going to ask you to anymore. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so you two, Isir and Mira, um, you see her eyes are just for a second slightly dart over towards the harp player who's just listening in and playing the harp. And she says, Well... We don't like that cave to be there. We are trying to seal it up. But those little terrorists keep busting it down. It's dangerous for this neighborhood. Thank you for telling me. I'm going to go look into this and send someone off to get her to rescue your sister. To see what I mean, she's up to. Shit, why don't we do it together? It sounds like, you know, we're both after the same goal. You could really help us out here, too. I mean... Our sister Vinny was like the only one that was really familiar with this area. We've never been here before, like I said before, so we could use like a little insider perspective for a little beginners. And plus, I'm a big fan of culture myself personally. I can go on for hours and hours and hours about it. And so you I would could. love to learn so much more from you about the culture here. Persuasion check. And it's like one of those conversations where you see the other person's like, <laughs> yeah. And, and while that's happening, Seir looks directly at Mira, and then, as, as they make eye contact, looks at the harpist, and is like... So she's letting, but she lets this continue on, because she knows mm -hmm. that. Okay, I rolled an 11, but then I used Dark One's own luck on top of that, so it turns into a 17. Yes, perhaps it would be helpful to take you around. I mean, after all, it's going to be very dangerous for here in Eudothia looking the way you all look. Ugh. Cool. Sure. How about in the morning? Get some rest. They have rooms here. And we can meet up and find your sister. Oh, and I'm, like, really good at makeup, too, if you need us to, like, you know, kind of get in disguises. I don't want to cause a big scene for you either. I mean, you're scratching our back here, so why can't I scratch yours too? Didn't know where she was going with that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, trying to tell her we have disguises without telling her. I thought you'd call her ugly. <laughs> oh, that's very handy. Very well. Um, I guess I'll be back in the morning unless there's anything else we have to discuss. Do you have any questions for me? Um... Scott, can I make an insight check on her just to see if her vibe has shifted at any point that we've been talking? Because she just gives me, you know, it super is. shady vibes. <laughs> sure. It's not an easy DC because you don't really know her, know her. But go, yeah, and, uh, go ahead. That's fine because I'm just interested to know. Uh, she like talks about like hating the Shadow Sirens, but also she seems to be... With them? Like, she like you know, dirty cops be doing. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. It's a 17. I didn't roll that well, but I tried. She seems to have gotten more confident and more. Uh, she's feel whatever is going on in her mind. She's feeling good about it. Uh, yeah. You do know that she was just in a giant big confrontation outside. She so can't really tell like what that means for this individual, 
but they definitely seem like things are going the way they want it to go. Oh, cool. Thank you. Um, welcome to Eudothia. I got your rooms. Yeah, we've, we've loved the warm welcome so far. I want to check out the room for sure, because now I want to get the fuck away from all of these people. How many rooms do you have here? Excuse me. He's just... I have three rooms and a meeting room. One of the rooms is taken by another patron right now, and I'm not letting you sleep in the meeting room. Two rooms. Three hundred shells each. She says, yes, yes, three hundred shells. It's fine. It'll be a reimbursed the council. Can you share two rooms? I guess. Very well. I'll meet you back in the morning. About nine hours. See your nods. Take it. Have a good sleep. She swims away. The door shuts. All I right. like that bit. Let me show you your rooms. Uh, Celia downs both of her drinks before... He's going to go yeah. drop off some stuff over here in the supply closet. Sierra passes you her drink. <laughs> Same. Uh, <laughs> I'm not drinking this. He's going to go to this hallway door and open it up. I'll reveal here on the map. Opens up this hallway. Um, he will open up this room to you guys and say that's one room for you. He's going to show you this doorway right here leads into the meeting room. And then he's going to say in here is the second room. Uh, and then he's going to give you for each a key to go to this room and he says if you lose that that's double the price of a room and he's going to swim away Stu you're, you're mumbling like stupid right. well I mean at least if this like lady betrays us we can make our pockets hurt by like ditching the keys right well, that's actually accurate She's definitely gonna betray us, but yeah, we'll get into that. Uh, let's yeah. go check. Let's go. Let's go look. Let's go sit in a room. Uh, <laughs> boop. No. Walk into this one. Okay. Mizu yeah. will definitely like push her p way past everybody to like wherever the closest bed is, probably, and flop down on it. There are two beds, and they are single beds. Yeah. Come in she's, this room. That, she's gonna gag a little bit at the sight of like that would be something that she would sleep on and like be completely self-absorbed and not aware of anybody else around her and just lay, and lay down on yeah it. these yeah. sheets and covers have like those two inch like wispy slimy sea kelpy hair algae. the algae yeah so it's, it's very like fuzzy moving yeah she's already not getting a good night's sleep for sure yeah, Sierra's so definitely funneling everyone into the same room. Like, she's not like, this is not a room where she's like, we're all going to bed. She's like, let's go talk in private. <laughs> uh, come gather in this enemy territory. See you uh, down on the couch. I, I, I kind of close the door. I close the door behind, behind me. Uh, so we're definitely not going to be here when she gets back. That's clear, right? Yeah, like after eight, eight hours, we did. She's obviously whatever, whoever the shadow sirens are. It's apparently they work with everyone, and even if you aren't a shadow siren, you may be pro shadow siren. Um, but also, shadow sirens and what's the other one? The Cerulean Conclave. They don't yeah. seem like friends, so like one of them losing is good for the other one. But they're both evil, so that love it here. Good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love that for us. Um, but she seems suspicious as fuck as soon as I mentioned Shadow Sirens, so I wanted to make sure I got that out because I'm sorry to say this out loud in front of you, uh, Miss Rage, if you will, um, but I have no problem destroying a merfolk who is loyal to Olivine or Chaos in any kind of way, um, so I have no problem racking up a death toll here. That's fine. I mean, I've seen a lot of death living here my whole life. Oh, I've... Same, I'm not even from here. The mentality gets old. <laughs> I'm also no Olivine fan, which was why I was a big fan of Venfira when she showed up to help us. You might have to take a more of a 
and more aggressive approach than uh, our sister Vinny. She is the most uh, calm of the sisters of Azir. So we definitely wanted to send her here because if any of us had have come here, this problem would have been rectified. I mean, a long everything time I've ago. heard from her has held pretty true to standard when it comes to personality. You know, I, I take that as a, a compliment because I think Vinny's pretty accurate with her uh, way with words. <laughs> uh, but do we have any idea on like where we should go? I don't think I mean, we should get a, like a little bit of rest, but I, I'm not trying to give. Mizu's already asleep on the bed. <laughs> she's she's snoring. Oh, I'm not trying sure. to give Ventala Nisha whatever uh, any more time with my sister than I need to, and so I would love to find her. Yeah, because if we give her too much and she just like shows that she's killed your sister, yeah. Also, Ethiopia will be just havoc all over. We're the like, place. hey, our sister got kidnapped, and this is a whole big problem. She's like, okay, see you in nine hours. What yeah, kind of plan is that to not. stop the t terrible police work? But we are known for being better than the local right. law enforcement. We beat the ones in Azir, and we can beat the ones here, I'm sure. Um, maybe we should go talk to that, uh, see that little harp guys out there? You know, the yeah. musicians always hear lots of things, and this place seems like a kind of uh, low-quality entertainment facility. Oh, I didn't know how to say that nicely. Wow, that was hard. Um, Brothel. Yes. Brings yeah. in a, a certain crowd. Uh, see what he knows. That's he seems said, to be a... Uh, if he talks to us, he'll definitely talk to other people. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't expect any allegiance. I just need information. Um, perhaps Mira could try first since... She, you you know you're a merfolk and that they'll like you and if that doesn't go well we can try the drunken approach of you know Lily just start a conversation how you do with all your bar friends you seem to know everyone in a box well a lot of people but like not everyone but I don't mind yeah I can go talk catch on the back cast guidance singe off round one. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess I'll go back out to the bar area. Okay. And I don't know if I ended up in the right room. I might you have. You did. But... Oh, okay. I can see through. <laughs> <laughs> um, and oh, perf. And then the harp dude's over here in the corner, correct? No, he was where you were, right here. Oh, never mind. I had it exactly. And you're still wild shaped. No, it's worn off by oh, now. Okay. That form only lasts like 10 minutes, and I'm oh, okay. assuming it's been over 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so I like look over at him and I'm like, so I'm assuming you saw me come in with old sus lady a second ago. Was there a reason that when we were talking to her, she happened to glance over here a few times at you? Oh, beautiful uh, woman approaching me about my information and not about my music some yeah. might take that as rude oh well definitely don't take that as rude um i'm just i have a lot on my mind so and music wasn't the first thing i chastise i chastise yes she made a glance at her and i made a glance at her beautiful woman under all that armor Mhm. Mm but it was when she was talking about someone specific as if she knew you might run your mouth. Who? I just like get kind of close a little bit and I'm like, we happen to be talking about the Shadow Sirens and their leader. Uh, he starts to and play the just... harp a little bit while you start to talk. Mm. I was like, you just seem like a very knowledgeable man. Yes, I've heard many stories One... about the Shadow Sirens. Oh. Deadly. I have a feeling that your wandering eye might have helped out in seeing some things that... Always. Could... Oh, I'm sure. What would you so why don't like you tell know? me what you know? What would you like I to mean, know? I mean, I know that just around the corner there is a little hideout that old Valithia likes to hang out in sometimes. Since I was trapped in it. 
in a cell or a cage. Um, but where's her other locations around the city? I know there has to be more. Twenty gold. Twenty golden shells. Twenty golden shells. Or shells, depending on what part of this season you've watched. <laughs> um, since I'm a council member, I'm assuming I have, like, twenty golden shells, or is that a lot? Uh... I'm gonna say, since they kidnapped you, they took all your shells, so you have no shells. No shells. No shells. Um, New friends! <laughs> right? I was like, give me one second and I'll be back with your shells. I run to the room, I'm like, I need gold, I realize I don't have fucking any. Check Mizu's bag. <laughs> oh, okay. I just grab Mizu's bag while she's passed <laughs> out. <laughs> Great. I do have rummage. 66 gold in my bag. <laughs> I take 20. <laughs> It's for the betterment of the world. <laughs> she money doesn't exist to her anyways, so like it's it's one of those rich bitch things, so she's not gonna notice him anyways. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so I take the twenty gold shells and I come back to my friend and I'm like Now spill spill the beans and I give you the shells. I have heard many stories about Valithia and her shadow siren tunnels that go beneath Eudothia and through the seaweed thicket. Very dangerous. I hear she's paid off some of the guards as well. Wink, wink. Mm -hmm. mm. You must be careful with Valithia. Always ill intentions to topple the government. And we would know all about the government, wouldn't we? Yes, we would, obviously. Glad you realized that, too. Well, I hope that satisfies your... Quenches your thirst. I mean, not really. You didn't really give me a lot of information, nothing that I didn't already know as an observant. Some would say, not really worthy of the 20 gold shells that you were after. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ask again. <laughs> Where are her other hideouts? Oh. I want locations, babe, not tunnels. I think there is a secret location where she does all her dirty work. From the stories I've heard of people who have escaped, which have been a few behind the prison. Behind the prison? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I do an insight check to say if this motherfucker's lying to me based off his body language and shit after conversating for a while? Hi, DC. But yes. And you have guidance. Oh, what's that guidance? Add D4. Add a, add a D4. I'm at a 22. Roll the D4. That'd be a 4, so 26. Yeah. It's cheeky ass. I know bards. <laughs> He told you that one of her secret hideouts is behind the Crustacean prison. And mm -hmm. that is, it seems truthful. You are not the father of Sorry. Yes. <laughs> From their body and language and the difference that you've seen them in the small time, it looks like he's telling the truth. Okay. I guess I could trust a home, but... Is it just one spot? She just has one location, not a closer one? Gonna need one more shell. Um, what about a kiss on the cheek from a pretty merfolk? You don't get that every day around here. I accept. And I accept the information before you get that. <laughs> Cheek. No, of course, there is Not a, yet. There is another hideout. And it is near. Look at my map! <laughs> it is near. The Abyssal Palace. To the west. Where the water meets the land. AKA the shore. <laughs> Noted. 
I give him a little kiss on the cheek. Uh, he lingers. Of course he does. They always do. I leave. Okay, you leave. You go back to the room? Yeah. <laughs> I okay. got what I needed. Yeah, you see Seir sitting in the hallway. Um, just because she's, like, outside of that door. Because she's not... She, she's sitting there. She's holding yeah. uh, an, an engraved bone. The one that she got from the, the first attack from the merfolk. From the Shadow Sirens, she's like holding that thing that her and Vinfira had like taken off that taken off that body. She's kind of examining it as she's like taking her long rest or her sh wow her short rest. Um, mm -hmm. She's just kind of focusing on that. Yeah, so I just like come up. I'm like, so Seer, Apparently, Valithia has a couple hideouts. I would assume she would at least be at one of these places you told me about. She said there's, or he said there was a location behind the Crustacean Prison, and then also another one at the Abyssal Palace near the shore, which almost well, makes a bit more sense. And the Abyssal Palace is where the Council of Merits is. Yeah, which is tracking because that's kind of where she would need to go in order to throw you to the end of chaos. <laughs> yeah, for her whole plot to work, she needs to do this like in front of a bunch of people. Is that like? Is that just, like, if she goes there, there'll be a bunch of people? Or she, do you think she's waiting for, like, is there a, an event coming up for the council of sort of, sort of big celebration that she might be planning to crash of some sort? Or is it just... I would assume that. I've kind of been MIA in a cage for a minute, so I don't oh, know. Oh, I forgot about that part. Yeah. Roll a... Yeah. Roll a... Um, it's... A wisdom... Just roll a wisdom check. Just straight wisdom. A check? Yeah, because you've been... Yeah. Because you've been down there for a while, trying to get, you know, what day is it? Who am I? 16 plus 4, dirty 20. Um, <clears throat> yes, okay, you are re reorienting yourself uh, to the, the day of the week it is, and yes, in the morning, there is a big... It's, it's a continuation of hearings about implementing the government as a whole, but there's still problems. Oh, the guards fuck. don't necessarily listen as well. They're trying to find better leadership. They're trying to structure some things that weren't structured before, and they're dealing with these two rebel factions coming in. So this is one of many of the same kind of meetings, but there's going to be literally everybody that makes decisions there tomorrow in about 10 hours. <laughs> Yeah, so as I'm remembering all that, I'm reciting it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take that information in. But now that remembering that, I have a feeling that this is when she'll do it. The Yeah, the exact moment. That sounds perfect. So we have about nine and a half hours to ruin a bitch's day. Okay. I think if we can ambush her uh, execution, and instead of we us losing Vinifera, we ahead a shadow siren in front of all the courts and we proudly proclaim that the princes of power are cleaning up this murky place we call Adelphia that we all seem to love uh, I think it'd be a pretty clear power statement that we mean business and the merfolk love power statements so killing one head and then going after the next one will be quite enjoyable for me and I can just say it's for my sister oh, I love that it works out for me justifiable right exactly I love the politics of it all um i think we should start at the prison because i'm pretty sure though i don't really know what he looks like or who he is venifera's boyfriend's in the prison i don't assume you have multiple prisons here you probably do have like a high oh, conviction Lakin, rate yeah he was in there but they came and got him and left me we were in prison together you knew way more than we did we just knew boyfriend <laughs> in jail lakin Name's Lakin? Lakin. You've met him before. Lakin, Lakin, however you <laughs> want to pronounce it. I don't know what they say where you're from, but... Me either. Never heard the name, so wouldn't know. Uh, what, do you, what do you know about Lakin? You know, is he good for Vinfira? Bad for Vinfira? Would you date him? Would you kill him? Your thoughts? Interesting. Uh, depending on the day, it would be a date or a kill. In my mood. But, ultimately, he was, like, one of the only people that I really trusted around here. But then again, that could all be, like, a whole big shtick that I fell for, because I do that. I well, trust I mean, too much. It, it does add up if she kind of mentioned 
him. She didn't really mention you, but she mentioned the Council of Merit. So perhaps, you know, co collecting her most trusted is all part of her big execution. She, they probably plan to kill all of you at the same time. That's what I'd do. Honestly, it's, I figured they were luring her in with that information of us not being around. It made the most sense to me, at least, while I was sitting in that cage. And it is why we came back. Less the you part, more the oh, yeah. la lake in part. So I think if we have a little bit of time, maybe we should go get him. And is he on the Council of Merits as well, or is he just some boy she found here? Oh, okay. Uh, well, that could be cute or whatever. Um, <laughs> have you ever had, like, a rescue fish? A what? rescue fish like a fish you rescue and then you just like take care of it and swim around with it that's kind of like what he was for her i'm assuming <laughs> being oh. a princess you gotta have hoes in many places in this ocean yeah my thing is more like uh the fish didn't make it and then i brought it back and now it's like my undead pet so like i don't really get attached in that way but like i understand what you're going for when you say that oh, like a, re a rescue okay. fish yeah it it's easier for emotions um okay uh we can dissect prison that break. later <laughs> i think we should do a prison break your thoughts i mean you think it'd be I, hard i mean probably and i also in my memory coming back would i know that he would be in the prison or uh through getting captured and stuff you've pieced together that's probably holding him at the crustacean prison at the crustacean prison okay yeah Oh. I mean, the well, sneaky you know, one's not here right now. Well, She's we don't need sneaky to... because, well, maybe we do, but we can I have an idea. Maybe we don't have to break out Lakin. Maybe Valithia is requesting his presence at this thing, and we are going to get him for her. So if we have, it's you know, it's always fun to get into like, well, I'm in a secret oh, group because I'm also like in a secret it. group, so I can't tell you this thing, but I can like do the weird thing that I know a thing that you know and kind of try to con them into it that way. Or just I mean, destroy the prison. I mean, whatever's easier. I'm cool with that. I just can't talk a lot or I'll be a dead giveaway. Yeah, I like to, to break things. I'm also not really good at talking. Uh, yeah. Hmm. They don't really seem to enjoy non merfolk. We all kind of look like this. Perhaps a prison break. I think that be, might be that might be easier for us than talking. To just smash some shit up. Yeah. Well, let's rest on it, and then shortly. Prison break. Shortly. Yeah. Okay, like a, a, a quick respite. Then I'll wake up Celia and fill fill her in. As and you then... guys are swimming in that spot talking, um, you see the harpist has been listening to the entire time, oh, playing his course. music, just like looking straight at you guys and winks when you look at him. And say, heading off that. so soon. Stare at him. Right? Why are you talking? What? Oh, it's such are a you shame. Listening to us? Such a shame. You could have gotten a night's rest. You could have been well for your adventure. You could have rejuvenated, revitalized your stamina. But now, I just have to force you to stay as he starts to grow um, and turns into this large merfolk Minic that's bar. wearing the same armor as the ones before. And he says, you're not reaching for Lithia. Not under my guard's watch. We're going to go to a bathroom break. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Campaign 4, Princess is of Power, episode 24. If you were with us um, before the bathroom break, thank you for coming back. We hope you had a good rest. Uh, if you are joining us now, uh, we have gotten into this tavern, kind of gotten a mix-up with some of the guards of the Council of Merits of Eudothia, separate from the Shadow Sirens, except now we're finding out they're not so separate. Ooh, shady cops. And we've just decided to take a short rest, which is now over. And we are going to make our way to the Crustacean Prison. However, the Harpist said, you're not going anywhere. And he turned back into his normal appearance, which is this large shape, very muscular, armored, 
um, who probably in charge of whoever we saw before. And the doors are going, the door at the tavern is going to fall off and reveal that the entire outside is now magically pushed back into a giant pit of acid around this entire tavern. What? Casual. And you just have to figure out who's doing this magic to make this happen. Do what? So the, the, the bar the, itself is surrounded by the tavern acid. itself is in a big magical of- protection thing where if you step mm-hmm. out you fall into a endless pool of acid. That's a lot of acid. And I will go ahead and tell you it does not look like he's casting this. Cool. Okay. There's only look one other there. person in the room. <laughs> there be invisible hose in here. Oh yeah. Fret not. That's yeah. how they got it. Uh, been figure out they were invisible. <clears throat> Our sister could be here, and we have no idea. She's also invisible. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, <laughs> uh, roll initiative. initiative. Let's do it. I'm assuming I'm up now, right? Yes, yes. you are awake now. 22. Okay. 12. Okay. Got a solid 6. Okay. 17, which I put in. Perfect. He got a... Let's look at his cool sheet. He got a 11. Also, is he a large creature? Yes, he is considered large. Feed a Hulk. Oh, the Marvel characters are back. Damn it. (laughs) (laughs) It's just green and muscular. (laughs) All right. Mirror Rage. Yeah. So, I am going to, uh, for my action, since we're right beside each other, I'll just reach out and touch him and give him a shocking grasp. Ooh. It was like a first to hit. 25 to hit. That hits. And that will be... 13 lightning damage. Okay. He has no reaction now. Yay! Yeah, and he has no reaction. So, at this point, I am going to bonus action rage. I feel like I'm about to take some hits. Yes. Okay, Seer. Um, Seer is going to... I also just want to say, oh. not only did the door fall down, but the walls fell down. So actually, this is kind of like a floating island in this pool, so to speak. Because I'm like, why do I have glow on the floor all the way around this thing? Yeah, oh, I yeah. was looking at that, I was like, what? Yes, okay. the walls fell Perfect. down, so that green on the planks, that's the light from the... So... <laughs> Yes, basically. <laughs> so I, I step back because I already got hit by a building once. So um, that means, wait, I have a question real fast. That sure. means like where me and Celia are, we can see the guy, even though there's like corners because all those walls fell down, or is it just the outer ones? Just, just the, the outer, outer walls, walls, the one that have the green glow on the wood planks. So basically the perimeter, not the interior walls. Yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, pop a wild shape and... Uh, for my uh, symbiotic entity, and so I get temporary hit points as my action, bonus action, I cast her Lely. And so she speaks into her uh, her shell, and it starts to reverberate. She holds it. In the Perfect. Uh, Mizu. Um, uh, she is going to move from here to here. And then she is going to fire a three Eldritch Blast at that guy. Thank you. Uh, Counterspell. Oh! You bastard, because I rolled... Where'd it come from? I rolled a nat 20, so you're lucky. I, fi- I, could, I, could, I can't see your face right now, because I put the map in front of Discord, but I could hear from your like sound that you let. I was like, oh, this is good. Nope, Counterspell. Rude. Should have bluffed yeah. more. D- do we notice anyone appearing out of invisibility or anything? Are we, are we, nope. <laughs> but you can... I will show you down the rest of that hallway. Start sniffing some magic. Because it goes 
all the way into acid. We just established you have to be close to her for counter spells, so now I'm like, what are you at? I'm looking. I'm hunting. That's one counter spell. Kadoosh. Damn, they have to be in this bar area. Like, where are they at? My bet is they're over here somewhere. Uh -oh. Or is this guy? <laughs> All right. Um, is it his turn? Uh, yes. It is not Thor's turn. I mean, not Hulk's turn. Um, uh, he's going to turn to Mira and Gadoosh, Gadoosh. He's going to cast Ray of Frost and a third level slot. What is going on here? Why is he also a spellcaster? What is happening? Uh huh. Is judging he... by the muscles, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am, because yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, well, now I'm really going to stab him because um, you can pop him. So that is going to be. Oh, he's taking damn it. here, I forgot. <laughs> um, he misses. <laughs> <laughs> he misses. Son of a biscuit. Oh, that Roy Rage. <laughs> okay, uh, Celia. Um, I'm going to move up slightly. Where is it at? Cool. I'm going to move up to right here. That's 30 feet. Um, upon breaching the door and laying her eyes upon this uh, monster, um, she's going to express that. <laughs> that is one ugly son of a bitch. Um, and that's going to be a salty salute. Um, you gotta make uh -huh. a, uh, DC 14 wisdom save. No way! Come on, give me something where you can reroll. No. Nah, you gotta take it. Nah, okay. uh... You don't have to, you don't have to do that. Counterspell. Let's burn through him, baby. It's not a spell. Oh, he's not a, he's not a magic caster. Oh, it's not caster. a spell? No. What is this? He just speaking. Oh, it's just a class feature. Oh, yeah. Uh, he fails. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, Damn so, it! Uh, you have disadvantage on um, <laughs> attacks against anyone but me until the end of your next round, and you are going to take an <laughs> amount of damage equal to. Where are you at? I just had you pulled up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, that is going to be 6 plus 2. Yeah, 2. Uh, so that's going to be 8 points of psychic damage. You son of a Ooh. biscuit! Yeah. I think a wizard's worst day is being like counterspell, and it's like, that's not a yeah. spell effect, and you're like, no! <laughs> my hand's up! All right, I'm, beginning... I'm also going to take yeah. the dodge action. Um, okay. Yeah. All right, beginning of the round, down the hallway uh, from the uh -oh. room, you were also offered that you didn't take... Uh, will come out an invisible assassin um, that head guard from before um, and Did she believe? The, a couple of these second in commands as they come out they all are removing this like it looks like a shell with some sort of entity inside that reaches and grabs your face and they are all looking at you coming out of the or swimming out of the room looking at you and they take it off and are smiling um they yeah. take off the weird sucky shell thing who's got the highest insight me roll probably an insight 20... out, outside no. of this battle roll an insight check I was like wait oh my god insight check okay that is going to be a do, 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 ooh, a twenty nine. You've heard of of small um, underwater animals being magically enhanced to help in a certain way, and this one looks like it helps them see something. They presumably were looking through the walls. Yeah, these motherfuckers got all these kind of weird enhancements. I guess they do have like a black market thing going on here. But talk about like talk about performance enhancers, okay? <laughs> this is what we don't stand for in Azir. Bring your own magic to the party, okay? So I will put a dot on these people because that means they can see through walls. Of course it does. Great. Great, great, great. Great, great, great. And but as we know, it's our girl change. from earlier, so still hate her. Always. Alright. 
Uh, 18, 16, 16. Their initiatives. Oh, their initiatives? I was like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't think, are they hitting us? <laughs> All right. Why are you naming things at me? Mira. <laughs> yeah, so... Big boy's right here in front of me. I'm gonna whop him a couple times. Ugh. That Warhammer. And since he's the first person I'm attacking... Oh, let's make sure I hit first. The first hit will be a 17 to hit. Uh, no. Okay, the second one will be a 22 to hit. That hits. I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> it just hits. <laughs> so Is that will be 12 bludgeoning damage. And now, since he's the first creature I've attacked after raging... Ancestral Protectors. Um, first creature you hit with an attack on your turn has disadvantage on any attack that isn't against me. And when the target hits a creature other than me, that creature has resistance to the damage dealt by the attack. Now he's disadvantage so now on his he's, attack. Yeah, so now he's just disadvantage <laughs> all the way around. Off and on, he's just having a all bad right, day. Alright, cool. We're going to put a little <laughs> red dot for disadvantage. And that would be my turn. Okay, down the hallway. Let's get this one to swim up. Five, ten, five, ten, five, ten. Right there. And... <laughs> we'll actually swim a little further. And... Um, cast aid at a higher slot to give them and all their how far is aid okay back up just five more feet and we'll give them all 15 temporary HP seer you uh, what is seer gonna do let's see I am going to... Uh... Damn, wait. This one. 15 feet forward. He needs to make a con save. Ooh. And then... <coughs> That's my reaction. Uh, 15. He fails, so he's going to take just a d6 of damage. Oh, actually, 2d6 because I have my uh, decay form on. So he takes 6 points of necrotic damage. All right. Um, and then she is going to uh, look out, and I guess she's going to do what she did the first time, which is going to cast Moonbeam, which now will encompass the hallway. So she's going to put it on these guys in the back. Where's it going to be? Right here. Just right on top of them? Okay. Yeah. What's the range? Or what's the um, radius or whatever? Uh, it's a five foot uh, radius, so it'll just be like literally the, si the size of the hallway. Gotcha. A little spotlight. And they need to make con saves. Just kidding. Yes, no, con saves. <laughs> I thought I made that up. I was like, that's a random one. All right. 15 and 18. The 15 fails. Okay. Uh, 18 passes. 18 will take half damage. They are taking the drama of this dice. Oh my god. Uh, 8 points of radiant damage. So 4 points for the one that uh, passed. And then. I'm going to take the other half of my movement to step back. Boop. Thank you. That is all action, bonus action, reaction, movement. Okay, uh, this one's going to get out. Come on, save. Damn it! Uh, 21. <laughs> that one's... Pass. He takes half damage. Damn it! <laughs> they are 10 uh, HP! <laughs> uh, 9 hit points, or uh, 9 damage, 
So half to four? Gotcha. Radiant? All right. Um, they are going to cast shield on this one. Do what you want. Shield will come yeah, no. Um, The head guard will kind of come this way. Can I see you? Oh, wait. They're hey, going to go right up here. Save. Oh, son of a... You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nat one, so double the damage. Ooh. That's 28 points of damage, then. Oh, my God. <laughs> you said double it. <laughs> I'll fake it. <laughs> I do the same thing. I live in, like, a nat one on a saving throw is always, like, it's got to be something. Yeah, it's got to be mm -hmm. something. Okay, well, all right, fine. They're going to... <laughs> Cast. No, I'm not going to do that. We're going to do. The hand scared me. <laughs> uh, magic missile to you. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> That's an annoying one. Do good, do good, do good. All yeah, of them at me? Yes, all three of them. They're sending a message. Um, you're gonna take nine points of piercing damage. Heard. Um, bonus action. They're going to misty step over here. Mizu. Mizu is going to cast a thunderclap at the guy behind the bar, so he needs to make a con save. The guy behind the bar? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust you. Yeah, well, you I mean, he's, he's just been hanging out back there uh, a little bit uh, for a while. Let's he's, see if that acid goes away. He fails. <laughs> okay. That I ain't forget um, you. He's only going to take seven uh, thunder damage, but that's still seven. Uh, booming thunder booms into his brain and squishes it. He is dead. Me. Okay, he wasn't okay. the caster, guys. Not, and as that happens, music goes, that's what you get for flicking my hand away. Uh, uh, uh. You know she held on to that, for sure. For sure. Alright, anything else? Um, no, she's... You know what, actually, she's gonna take a sidestep to the left, just to... You know. Huh? You cut out. Uh, she's gonna take a side step to the left and kind of hide right there behind that door, you know, just in case anyone were to send anything trying to fly at her, it'll miss. Okay, so right now you have half cover unless you want to use. I'll take another step then. Okay, that's full cover. And that's it. I'm done. All right. Um, the general will yell out right towards you all while standing next to this other commander um, will shout out that Valithia will not be stopped. She is the descendant of Olivine, the rightful holder of Eudothia, and the Shadow Sirens will destroy the government that all of you puny other races created because Eudothia will prevail. You will never leave this tavern. You will never reach the Council of Merits! And then with disadvantage... <laughs> is going I don't to like him. attack. Oh, oh, go around all the way over there. She's so fast. He is going to move to the other side of Mira while doing this with his movement. Actually, a little bit more. Never moving out of melee range and cast Thunder Wave. Oh, I knew he was going to try to do that. In a fourth level slot. Ah. Ah. Kind of safe, is it? Um, Thunderwave is a Constitution saving throw. But. Is that on me as well? Um. Let me check. No, it's this person up here. No, no, it's not on you. You wait down here, girl. Oh, okay. It's big, big boy's doing it. Yeah, the edge of the cone's like right there. 
Gotcha. It's gotcha. like that and that. What's that save? Oh, me? Yes. E. Sorry, I like zoned out for a second. I was like, I didn't know that y'all were talking to me. <laughs> That's uh, okay, can't save. It was a 19. That does Let's pass, so face. you will not okay. be pushed away 10 feet, but you will take half of uh, 4d8 damage. Uh, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 points of thunder. Heard that. And then it is Celia's turn. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run up to this man's right here, the closest guy, just on the way to, um, to the big lad. And I'll, I'll give him a couple, uh, kisses, but with my fist, um, and that first roll is going to be a, my god, that's going to be an 18 to hit? Yep. Okay, and that is going to be, uh, 9 bludgeoning magic damage, and I'm going to use my extra attack against them, and that is going to be a 16 to hit? Uh, that does not hit. No, it hit. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my bonus action to grapple the guy in front of me. Okay. Um, let me roll that athletics check. Oh. Okay. I got a 15 with disadvantage because I'm exhausted. Uh, 21. Cool, you beat me. Nice. Uh, that's my turn. End of the turn order. As you guys are sitting there, I will ask that Celia rolls a dexterity saving throw. What a door doing that. Seventeen. Seventeen is a success, so you're able to jump back because around the entire edges the acid is now flowing inside the tavern burning the tavern away slowly hey well if that wasn't bad enough blue castle redeemed a random problem Woo! <laughs> oh, we love our fans yeah thank you okay. for supporting us so <laughs> um now because of that random problem i wasn't going to do this but let's make it extra cruel if you step on the wood that looks like it has the glow on it, you'll have to roll a save and take damage or no damage. Perfect. All right, and with the room caving in, you can also see down the hallway the same thing is happening. Um, as you turn and look, and you see this big guy casting magic kind of smile, and it's general beside him, and she just whispers, you will never leave. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Wait, who's we'll whispering that? Next time for more battle because oh, this hell. is gonna go on a bit. <laughs> I see, I see. Wait, which that was? Who whispered that? It was that was the the main girl. Y yes, the one that Celia just attacked. Yeah, the one with the big mouth. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back next time and kick butt. Yeah, All right. And you should have Arista with you next episode, so we can figure out what she's been doing in that other room. <laughs> she's been here the entire time. No. <laughs> Oh, trying hi, to open guys. a chest or something. <laughs> it's like, I found lots of secret gifts in here. <laughs> I saw them sneaking, so I also sneaked on their sneak. <laughs> see me sneaking. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good time. Check out Into the Expanse on Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock and come back next Wednesday at 7.30 for Princess Power, episode 25. All right. Have a good night, everybody. 25! 25! Good so night. Fun.